that my schedule is already completely full of stupid shit and half of it has to do with Garrett Robinson. Yeah, I still plan to make at least two more video responses against Garrett Robinson. And yet somehow, every time I turn around, take a little break, and come back on YouTube, I find Garrett Robinson coming up with more and more bullshit that I need to debunk because this guy is incredibly freaking stupid. And I doubt that Garrett Robinson is going to look at this video because he's too busy, you know, filling his own fucking ego, just like an, like every other social justice, social justice warrior. It's pretty goddamn pathetic to see people like Garrett Robinson on YouTube. I just want this video to be over with so that way I can go back to living my freaking life, making stupid YouTube videos against other stupid YouTube YouTubers that isn't Garrett Robinson. Okay, that being said, let's begin. Let's talk about the topic of this video, journalistic integrity. Now the reason that we're talking about this is because this has become a byword of Gamer Gators. Yes, I'm talking about Gamergate again. We all thought we were done with it. We're not. We're not because it's still happening and in some ways it has escalated, like people making bomb threats and threatening massacres at schools where Anita Sarkeesian was gonna speak. Not okay. Now I will just point out, because I know many Gamer Gators will be quick to jump into the comments, that those actions do not represent the majority of the Gamergate movement. That is fanaticism at its most ridiculous, and that's why this video is not titled Gamer Gators and Their Threats to Bomb Everything in the World. I find that rather odd, considering that feminists do this shit all the fucking time. I mean, we see actions like this. Brave apologist, incest supporting, woman hating, fucking scum. Fucking scum. Yeah, just no, another. I just, I just want to listen to someone else's opinion. I'm not even on a side here. I just listen to as many people as I can. You know what, though? Why would you pay money to fucking support a fucking rape apologist if you weren't fucking one? I never heard him say anything Well, it's fucking scum. Overprofessional goals, How? thus minimizing their own potential to serve traditional marriages and yeah, yeah, yeah. the assumption. <laughs> I'm reading the face of the camera. I'm trying to fucking. I'm letting everybody else hear it, okay? It's not just for you, Mr. Entitled. <laughs> the assumption. I'm a guy. Very good. You can yell. How about we talk there? rationally? Why, why do we have to get off the campus? What are you so afraid of? Why, you know, what are you so afraid of in the I'm discourse? Here. I belong. You're asking us that question. I helped build this university. So you're afraid of questions? We're afraid of fucking fascists! We're afraid of you guys. Really? So feminism having the only, dis only narrative is not fascist? Down with fascists! Of course, like any feminist would say, that's not the actions of all feminists. And I agree, this isn't what every feminist is like. However, as soon as you turn around against the MRA or the likes of Gamergate, the very moment that someone screws up that's either in the MRA or Gamergate, or you will somehow link a certain event towards Gamergate or, MR or the MRA, somehow that automatically makes the entire group completely fucking evil, and that is a load of bullshit. And I wouldn't be all that shocked if you were one of those people who would claim this shit. But I want to talk about this concept of journalistic integrity, because according to Gamergators who have interacted with me on this channel, on my previous videos on this, some of them cordially and courteously, thank you very much, some of them not so much, F you very much, the movement isn't about women in gaming, it's about journalistic integrity. Now that sounds fantastic, and we all want journalistic integrity, right? Well, the movement didn't start with journalistic integrity, Integrity. There's actually some people who have gone back and researched the beginning of the movement. There's a link to that research in the description. 
It is not about journalistic integrity. It started as an attempt to ruin somebody's life. That somebody was Zoe Quinn, the woman who was accused of sleeping with game journalists for favorable press. Now, I give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you're right. Well, how does this have to do with anything? If we're focusing on the future, then what does it matter on what its origins is? As long as we focus on doing something good for the world, then it really shouldn't matter on what the origins are. The problem is that if the movement were actually about journalistic integrity, then the journalists that she supposedly slept with for favorable reviews would be the ones being attacked, not Zoe herself. Ah, uh, you fucking imbecile. You're basically saying that Zoe Quinn shouldn't hold up any responsibility whatsoever. And there's a huge chance it's because she's a fucking woman. If the situations were reversed, that the guy slept with a bunch of other uh, female journalists just to benefit his own games, are you going to blame the journalist or the fucking game developer? Chances are you're going to, to side with the journalists because they are women. That's how you fucking feminists work. You would side on whoever has a fucking vagina. And if both have a vagina, you would side with the one that is more victimized. <sighs> Look, there's been a field day with these uh, journalists and they had to answer some questions, and some of them were very legitimately concerned, okay? This, it's been proven with facts that Zoe Quinn has, you know, <clears throat> has slept with a bunch of men, admitted that she used these men to just gain profit from it, and yet, you suggest that we should focus only on the journalists rather than, than both. You are a fucking imbecile. And if you ask me, of course I believe that both are at fault because the journalists should know better to not be intimate with these game developers and vice versa. But instead, we have these game journalists defending Zoe Quinn because she's a woman. We're attacking her because she has a vagina and nothing else. There is no reason that people are attacking Zoe Quinn, Anita Sarkeesian, or Brianna Wu, or whatever woman on the internet decides to have a quote-unquote voice about video games and voice them poorly Somehow, we're attacking them because they have a vagina. That's the only reason. Because Zoe is not a journalist. She's a developer. If you want journalistic integrity, go for the integrity of the journalists. This seems simple. So if it were really about journalistic integrity, people would be pointing to the articles that these journalists wrote about Zoe's game in which they praised it and saying, see, this is journalistic unintegrity, out integrity, something. You're claiming that we're not focusing on these journalists. We're focusing just as much on these journalists as we're focusing on as as this much on Zoe Quinn. And I, I suppose that you somehow think that you know all this shit. You just put your head in the sand, cover your ears up, wait like an entire year, pop out of sand, and somehow gain infinite knowledge of the entire universe knowing what the hell's going on. And yet, you claim that we're not focusing on a journalist. Are you fucking shitting me? We're going after Kotaku. What, probably one of the most corrupt gaming journalism, corrupt gaming journalistic sites ever. Because they would side with Zoe Quinn without any fucking question. The reason why we're after Zoe Quinn is because, like many, many feminists, she's using her vagina as a weapon, as a way to get away with 
all the criticisms that she has received. But that's not what's happening, and it's not happening for two reasons. But the second reason is what all the gamer gators complain about. So let's ignore that and go for the first reason, which is that those articles do not exist. There's another guy who has made a whole, like, YouTube career for himself out of disproving everything that Anita Sarkeesian has said on her Feminist Frequency channel, including stuff that she said on other social media platforms, like when she said that she was threatened and called the police. That was apparently disproven with a call to the police station that she would supposedly have called where the police station said no we don't have that call on record that turns out not to be true not that they don't have the call on record they don't but they don't keep all their calls on record but anita was hooked up with the fbi and they have it very clearly on record when they were hooked up with her because if the fbi steps in it's probably fairly serious. And the rest of the stuff on this anti-Anita Sarkeesian YouTube channel is all a bunch of clips of things that she said, taken out of context, and then lampooned by this guy over and over again, proving what a dishonest liar she is. You I think I know who you're talking about. It's either Thunderfoot, Davis or Rooney, or Jordan Owen. And I've seen their videos, and none of their videos seems to be taking things out of context if you ask me. Although they, I believe Davis and Jordan actually made an apology video towards Anita Sarkeesian. I haven't known much about it. But let's just keep on going. Your first clue should be that that is the exact format of The Daily Show, which, while a very entertaining show, claims itself over and over again, we are not an actual news show. This is not actual fact-finding or proof. This is entertainment. So whenever you see somebody taking a bunch of clips of somebody else out of context and then commenting on them for, you know, some sort of entertainment reaction from you, even if that reaction is just, yeah, what a bitch, you should be very leery of anything that person says being taken as truth. Do your own research, because if you go and look at all of the clips that he references in context, it doesn't seem so freaking insane. I can't wait for the second part. But for the part where you said that we're just taking things out of context, really? Because we're not taking things out of context at all. We directly... <clears throat> we directly use clips, parts of the clips, from Anita Sarkeesian to pretty much prove our fucking points. And... Your best argument is that we're just taking things out of context. You really are some dumbass. Well, I guess I should end the video right here. I am the Atheist Gamer, and part two is gonna be coming pretty fucking soon, I suppose. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.